Hey everybody, it's Quincy from All Ears and I am here with a brand new video. I am at Disney's All-Star Music Resort, which just reopened today for a full resort tour. We're gonna take a look around, check out the dining, the recreation, the amenities, the theming, and of course the room. So I'm really excited, I hope you are too. Let's get going. <laughs> I am here on the reopening day of Disney's All-Star Music, as you can probably tell by how few people are around. This is the fourth to last resort that has still remained closed, and I'm super excited to be here today. This, of course, is a value resort. It's one of the three different All-Star resorts here on property, but this one is themed around music. When you arrive at All-Star Music, you will end up under this park share, or you can head to parking. This is also where you'll find Bell Services, which is a great amenity if you need to leave your bags with them either before you are able to check in or after you have to check out. Speaking of check-in, mobile check-in is definitely an option here, just like it is at all the other Disney World resorts. I did use mobile check-in today, so that means I used the My Disney Experience app, logged in, checked in all my details, made sure my card info was right and everything like that. And now I can go straight to my room without stopping by the front desk. Now that mobile check-in is available at any point before you arrive. But if you don't want to use mobile check-in or if you have any questions, there are of course are cast members manning the check-in desks to help you out if you need it. As you can probably tell from the name and the theming, this 1,706 room resort does have a music theme. Each of the different areas of the resort is themed to a different genre of music. I'm really excited to explore. It's got some larger than life theming. And of course, some of your favorite musical artists might be up on the walls. We're gonna give an in-depth look around the lobby in just a moment, but I think we should go find my room and drop off some stuff first. Maybe take a glance. The first section of the resort as you exit the lobby is the Calypso section, which is where our room is. Now the Calypso section is home to some of the family suites here. That's right, this resort does offer family suites, which is different from the other two all-stars, which only have standard rooms. We are in the Calypso section since we're touring a family suite today, and that means we're out of here. This resort is certainly not the most spread out of Disney resorts, but it is kind of spread out. If you do need a preferred room because of mobility concerns or anything like that, you'll probably end up in the Calypso section or potentially the jazz section as those two are closest to the pool, the lobby, and transportation. Check-in is at 3 p.m. Now, if you use mobile check-in, you can let them know if you're gonna be here a little bit earlier and your room might be ready a little bit earlier. Mine was actually ready super early today, like. 7 30 a.m very very early but of course i'm just getting here now and here it is i believe to enter your room you can use your phone's mobile room key your magic band or a standard key card that you get from the front desk i've got my magic band and let's head inside Ooh! i, I am certainly intrigued by this family suite but i want to take a look around the rest of the hotel first get a feel for what you can do while you stay here and then we'll check out the room so I think let's get exploring. Got a pretty fun view too of the main pool. Nice. All right, I'm heading back to the lobby first because that's a great place to start, I think. So the lobby is this like beautiful bright space. Looks just like the ones at the other All-Stars, except of course, it's got music themes instead of movies themes or sports themes. Now, at the time that I'm filming this, All-Star Sports is the only All-Star that has not reopened. That one will reopen in December or it's set to. So. That's the next one we'll see, but right now, we're looking at music, baby. As you probably saw when I checked in, there's a lot of music theming going on in this lobby. And the kids' area, the kids' seating area, while I check in with the TV playing, is actually running, which I have not seen at other resort tours. That's kind of been on pause for COVID, but it's up and playing under, under the sea, looks like. There's also a Guitar Hero in the lobby. I only ever beat Guitar Hero on easy because I wanted to play The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Um, I tried on medium, but it was really hard. So if you're good at Guitar Hero, good job you. Oh, Mickey looks like he's good at Guitar Hero. There's also this very eye-catching giant pair of like painted headphones in here. And there's a sign that says what they are. Let's go look. The Arty Arch. The iconic structure has graced the Radio Disney Music Awards red carpet since 2014. Oh, that's cool. There's Gwen Stefani, Fifth Harmony, Nick Jonas standing under it. Just off the main part of the lobby, you can find a few extras. You got bathrooms, ATM and things like that. Any necessities, some phones. And then heading this way, we're gonna head out to the bus stop. Buses are the only transportation option here at All Star Music, just like at the other All Stars. 
Most of the time, you are going to just have a dedicated bus for all-star music, but you might find yourself stopping at the other all-stars as well, so just be aware that that's a possibility. Man, no one is out here with the reopening today. So though it is super empty today, something to keep in mind with the all-stars is they can get really crowded with bus lines, both heading to the parks in the morning and coming back from the parks in the evening. I mean, with over uh, 1,700 rooms at this resort, there's gonna be a lot of people trying to get to and from the parks. I have certainly waited over an hour staying at an all-star before to get back after fireworks. So just be aware that that's very much a possibility. Though I will say those waits have been a lot shorter. I haven't seen any of the super, super crazy lines for the all-stars since the reopening of all-star movies. So they might get back up in that area, but right now they've actually been pretty manageable line-wise for the buses. Another thing to keep in mind with transportation at this resort is that it is closest to Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're in the Animal Kingdom Resort area and it's furthest from Magic Kingdom. So your ride to Magic Kingdom is probably going to be around 20 minutes. If you want to see more about that, you can check out my All-Star Movies review where I rode to Magic Kingdom. So just a note, we are past check-in time. There's like nobody here. And prior to the reopening of this resort, a lot of um, our readers and stuff were letting us know that they had been moved from the reservation at All-Star Music to somewhere else. It does look like some of the buildings didn't reopen, so maybe that's the case. I am staying in a family suite. My room did open, so it's definitely available for me. But I'll tell you, there's definitely fewer people here than I've seen at other resort reopenings. Back inside the lobby, let's stop by Maestro Mickey's. Oh my gosh, he's so cute, as little Maestro. So this is the merchandise store here at All Star Movies. Pretty standard stuff, but let's take a look around, see if we can maybe find some special merch. So like many of the other resort stores, you've got a lot of standard Disney merchandise. There's fans in here, spirit jerseys, shoes, pins, anything that you might want to check out could be in here. Small selection of ears, small selection of hats, things like that. In the back here, you've got some wine and some cold beverages, as well as some snacks, chips, dip, beef jerky, chocolate, pretzels, and things like that. And then of course the essentials wall. You got moleskin, you got medicine, you got sunscreen, you got bug spray, anything you might need. I will note that despite this resort offering family suites, there aren't like, you know, frozen pizzas or anything like that that you can get. Of course, the family suites don't have full kitchens, but I typically see a little bit more grocery items than this, even over at Art of Animation where there are family suites. And there's a few specialty all-star items. Now the all-star items are for all three resorts. So you'll see the same stuff at movies and at sports when it reopens. But you've got toothpick holders, magnets, pins, and this fun shirt, sports, music, movies, and repeat. Also while you're shopping here, take a look at the walls because there are vinyl records of some Disney favorites like Aladdin and also CDs. <laughs> the lighting is also super fun in here because it's all spotlights makes you feel like a rock star. All-Star Music also sort of has a Hall of Fame thing going on. So like this box has a Queen display in it. I absolutely love Queen. I mean, my favorite song is Bohemian Rhapsody because how can it not be? These are screens so they can change out the display. I didn't even notice. Those look so much like real posters and like a real vinyl record case. I definitely can't help but stare at this wall when I'm in here to check out some of the musical artists that are represented. I see Elvis, I see Taylor Swift, I see Michael Jackson, The Beatles, Lion King on Broadway, Adele, Jay-Z, all sorts of greats up here. Over here we've got another All-Star Music Hall of Fame case. This one dedicated to Selena Gomez. The lobby building is also home to Intermission Food Court. This is the only full restaurant at All Star Music. It is, of course, the food court, just like the other value resorts have. There's also a pool bar, and we will definitely be at Intermission Food Court for dinner, so I'll let you know more about it then. And the last thing you'll find in the lobby is Notable Games. Get it? Note? Like a music note? That's a Jared level dad joke. Uh, but this is, of course, the arcade, which is a super fun time. Lots of modern video games, retro video games. You name it. These are an additional fee, but super fun for your resort day if you like gaming. Here is how this resort is laid out, similar to the other all-stars. You've got Melody Hall, the lobby down here. This is the Calypso section, the jazz section, the rock section, the country section, and then the Broadway hotel section over here. So pretty large as you can see, but it's not super, super spread out. Two pools and there is a jogging trail around too if you'd like to use that. Got recreation posted right over here. You've got the fun recreation activities at the pool, which are going on right now. They've got trivia happening. And movie under the stars. What's happening today? Mulan. 
as long as the rain doesn't ruin it. So this is the guitar pool. This is the main feature pool here at this resort. It's got the three caballeros in the middle of the pool as the feature. I love Donald. He is my favorite of a lot of different characters. There's no one in the pool right now because of those ominous looking rain clouds, but they are still playing trivia out here, which is super fun. This pool does have guest laundry next to it, right near the bathrooms. And there's guest laundry over at the piano pool as well, which we'll see a little later. This is, of course, where our room is, the Calypso section, based on Calypso music. The buildings are adorned with music notes and toucans and giant maracas. This end of the pool, the very top of the guitar, I guess, where you would tune it, is the kiddie pool too. It's a little splash area, which is nice. The piano pool does not have a kiddie pool area, but the this one sure does. These structures around the pool are very fun, super islandy, definitely play into the Calypso vibe. You can tell which rooms are family suites by whether or not there's two doors right next to each other or if they're more far apart. Like this area all has family suites in the Calypso buildings, but there were a few regular suites in the same building, so it sort of depends. Like right here, that's a normal room. My favorite part of the Calypso theming is this giant xylophone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk under it. <laughs> I have to. Look, you can even see the keys. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Just off the lobby in the Calypso area is the Singing Spirits Pool Bar. Now this is the only bar here. It is the only dining spot other than the full restaurant intermission food court. So I think maybe we should try out one of the things they have to offer. So Singing Spirits does actually have a few exclusive drinks, including this orange freeze, which is made with Stoli orange vodka, Grand Marnier, and it's blended with orange puree. It looks really good, and I'm curious if it will act as a dupe for the Grand Marnier slush you can get in the France Pavilion that's so popular. The mix for this is made here at the bar too, so I'm excited to try it. Cheers. There's not quite enough Grand Marnier in here for it to taste like the Grand Marnier slush in France. That one tastes a lot more like a creamsicle where this one kind of tastes like an alcoholic orange juice that's frozen. Um, it's still delicious. It is not the dupe that I was hoping for. So you can't get yourself basically a Grand Marnier France slushy here at All Star uh, Music, at least not with this drink. But it is still very good if you are somebody who likes to drink drinks with orange juice, if you like screwdrivers and things like that. This is a great option. It's also a little more unique of a pool drink because it has that Grand Marnier in there. So I'm pretty happy with this. It's super summery, which we're in Florida, you can drink a summery drink all year long. Um, and it's not overly sweet because it does have that more tart orange flavor to it with the actual orange puree. So I'm happy with this drink. The rain came while I was drinking my orange freeze, but I came paired. Let's go. We have a resort tour to do. You guys think that's supposed to be Louis Armstrong? What a way to welcome us to the jazz section. The stairs here are those giant medallions with the jazz players on them. And then the buildings have music notes, of course, sunglasses, and saxophones. Also other jazz instruments, but saxophones. I don't play any instruments, but I think if I did play one, I'd want to play the saxophone. So this section of the resort is the Jazz Inn. This is the other section that does have family suites. There are family suites here and then in Calypso. Otherwise, standard rooms. There's this beautiful fountain, which gives me some... New Orleans vibes, which is pretty jazzy. You also get welcomed in to your jazz room with the all-star jazz band drums on either side. Not sure what they're doing there. I don't know if maybe they're expanding um, family suites or what, but definitely got some construction going on over here. All right, we found it the piano pool. Now the piano pool is not a quiet pool. It's smaller, it's piano shaped, but they still have the music playing down here. So if you have rooms near here, keep in mind that it's gonna be a little louder. Same is true for the guitar pool, of course. This pool also has uh, its buildings, its facilities buildings are represented by giant stereos, radios. What would those be? Keep in mind that both this pool and the guitar pool have steps to get in. There's no zero depth entry. So if that's a concern for you, just keep that in mind. And Ariel Flower and Sebastian are here. Flower, flounder. I don't know why I called you Flower. Who do I think you are? Bambi's friend? Man, I know I looked at this earlier, but now that I look at it, this was like my week for movies. Coco's on Monday. I love Coco, obviously. Mulana's my favorite princess. I love The Descendants. Don't judge me. It's a good movie. It's fun. Um, Onward is like the key to making me cry besides Coco. And I absolutely adored Luca. The piano pool acts as sort of the hub for the final three sections of this resort. And we're gonna go take a look around them, check out their theming and stuff. You've seen Calypso. You've seen the Jazz Inn. And now it's time for the rockin', baby. It's got these microphones, these giant guitars on the buildings. 
there's this really cool car just sitting in the middle of the area and some nice checkerboard floors with these huge jukebox archways. Oh my gosh, I just figured it out. This greenery is supposed to be a road and this is a crosswalk, which I assume is a reference to the Beatles, Abbey Road. I'm gonna walk across the crosswalk now because I have to. So you'll notice just across the way there is All Star Sports with the Coke Cups and things like that. We'll definitely be exploring that resort later this year when it reopens. But I just wanted to come out here at the edge of Rockin' to show you this, which is Celebrity Hall. Now this is sort of an extra facility that's used for checking in really large groups. That's definitely something to keep in mind when you're staying at an All Star, is that these resorts do tend to be home to sports teams, cheerleading teams, things like that that travel to Disney World. So you might run into large groups of high schoolers, middle schoolers, elementary school kids who are all staying here in a big group. All right, we're headed over to Country Fair. And listen, I really thought that the Broadway Hotel was gonna have my favorite theming, but all you can see right now is fiddles, banjos, and staircases shaped like harmonicas. And it's, I'm wigging out. This is so cute. So I am from the South, so I do have a soft spot in my heart for bluegrass. I'm not the biggest country fan. My favorite country song? Hmm. I figured out my favorite country song and I'm gonna sing it for you in front of these giant cowboy boots. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. All right, Broadway Hotel, let's see if you can one-up this. All right, the stairs in the Broadway Hotel are stage doors. And, okay, this might be able to be country fair. The street is actually supposed to be Broadway Street. The buildings have music notes and then top hats, tuxedos, canes, very Broadway, white gloves. Look, Wall Street and Broadway, we're there. And how fun. The big main theming here is that they're the box office. So you've got posters for Disney Broadway shows like Mary Poppins, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, of course, The Lion King. We should update this and add Hamilton. I even wore my Hamilton shirt. Oh, Newsies is up there too, can't forget it. Something tells me they should have assigned somebody other than Goofy to the ticket booth. Just an idea. Some of you might know we have some Broadway actors on the team here at All Ears. Lindsay and Jared have both performed on Broadway and Bree Love used to do makeup for Wicked, so some amazing talent. I just realized it's probably inappropriate if I don't grapevine this down the street and sing in the rain, huh? There is a ton of parking available around all of the All-Stars, but All-Star music included. So you should be able to park relatively close to your room. If you use mobile check-in, they'll even tell you at the gate when your room is ready that you can go straight to the right building and they'll give you directions. Tell me in the comments what your favorite Broadway musical is. My favorite is Hades Town of all time, actually, even though it's on right now. Uh, my favorite Disney one is probably going to have to be Hamilton if it counts and Lion King if Hamilton doesn't count. All right, we've got one more stop to explore before we head to the room tour portion of my staycation. Now these buildings do have elevators, so don't fret if chairs are, um, gosh, I can't talk. Now these buildings do have elevators, so don't fret if stairs are a bit of a challenge for anyone in your party. All right, I braved the rain, I sang in the rain, wow got really wet. Okay, I'm gonna dry off and then we can take a look around the room. B-roll time. B-roll of the family suite. B-roll of the family suite. Family suite, you can see there are multiple rooms in this room. Kind of shocking that this big of room is at a value resort, but keep in mind we are paying a little bit more for something like this. Right as you come in the door, there's a window to your left and ours does look out over the guitar pool area like we saw earlier. There are a few different room categories. None of them have to do with the view. So you can get a standard room, a preferred room, or a family suite, but you won't get to pick whether you have a parking lot view or a pool view or anything like that. Of course, you can do a room request and those do not have to be honored, but they certainly might be. So it's always worth calling and doing room requests or adding it to your mobile check-in. As you can probably tell, this is a sizable room for a value. This is a 520 square foot room. The standard rooms here at All Star Music are 260 square feet, so those are very, very small. The reason the family suites are twice that size is because I'm pretty sure they got rid of two standard rooms to make one family suite. Let's talk about beds real quick. As you can probably tell as we walk in here, like I saw earlier, these do look like they're both Murphy beds. We will pull those down in a second. 
and there is a queen bed in the other room as well. So family suites do sleep up to six people. Regular rooms only sleep up to four. Of course, either of those, you can also add a child that sleeps in a crib. Your window is gonna bring you some privacy curtains as well as some blockout curtains with a very fun pattern. I do like having the view out over Calypso Pool, although you have to keep in mind that if you do have a pool view at the All Star uh, Music Resort, you are going to have to listen to that pool music. It's not super loud from inside, but if I were trying to take a nap and I was having trouble falling asleep, it would probably bug me during the day. We've got main thermostat out here, a coat hanger, this very bright light, which looks just like the ones over at Pop Century. You've got that Disney World update channel to welcome you, your enhanced cleaning guide, guide to the magic, remote, these are still coming in those cleaned bags too. And fun detail, treble clef lamp. Look at that. Doesn't that just make you wanna sing a song? Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Then we have the first of two identical dressers that are in this room. So this one does have three drawers and a cabinet section. Let's look inside the cabinet section. Hello. All right, got some storage space in here. Plus two pillows, those are used for one of the Murphy beds. And the drawers. That's a sizable drawer though. You could probably fit a good amount of stuff in there. The other family suite I've done a tour of was at Art of Animation, one of the Lion King family suites. And that one obviously had a much more exciting theme than this, but I will say this one is newer. It feels a lot cleaner. The furniture feels a little bit higher quality. So I actually personally prefer this one. Although I won't say the same will be true for your Disney movie loving kiddo. The Murphy beds, one of them acts as a table when it's up and the other acts as a couch. There is an ottoman in front of this couch. Check out this plot twist. See, it's a box. This is a very important amenity. It's some extra storage space. These family suites are small, especially if you're gonna put a whole six person family in here. So having that extra storage space to get some of that luggage out of the way is a big, 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 big plus. Couch comfiness test, this isn't, this isn't bed science, calm down, it's just. All right, as usual, not the comfiest couch I've been on, although this is comfier than the Art of Animation couch. That one felt a little bit, you know in the early 2000s when inflatable furniture was popular? That's what that one felt like, and this one feels like a bad couch. I do love having a dining table in a hotel room. That's really awesome if you're going to take any meals in the room, like if you order a pizza. It's also great if you need to work a little bit. I know that I typically do some work on these hotel tours and having a table is much better than having to sit on one of the beds. We got one of those three for one chairs with the movies, music, and sports things on them, but that's fine. The all-stars gotta stick together, you know what I mean? So this is all one giant wall unit that has these two Murphy beds in it. And there are three sort of side table spaces. Each have two shelves. So there's actually a lot of storage space built in here. Plus outlets. Outlets are ever so important. There are so, so many outlets in this room. I can't even explain it. I can plug in all of my gadgets. And I think that if I had five other people here with me, they could also plug in their gadgets. We will give those Murphy beds a pull down in, in just a little bit, just in time for bed science. But let's take a look at the rest of the room before we do that. The living room also has my favorite part of this whole room, which are these adorable album covers <laughs> that go with the themes of the hotel. You've got Donald's album, Calypso Duck, Minnie's album, All Star Country. Um, the Jazz Trio, which is made up of Goofy, Mickey, and Pluto, uh, planned vacation jams, how fitting. And then over here in the kitchen area, which by the way, kitchen area, that's exciting. You've got Goofy Rock. That's pretty hardcore. Look at the safety pin piercing in his nose. And then Daisy Duck sings Broadway. Oh, look, she's wearing Belle's dress. I bet she's belting out, I don't know, Belle, the song, maybe? Could be. Look, there she goes. That girl is so peculiar. Let's head into bathroom one. Hello. How's it going? We've got a little closet shelving space over here. This is kind of similar to what you see in a lot of the values, but that's more storage space. Lots of hangers if you need to hang anything up. There is an ironing board and an iron, which is not something you see all around the value resorts. Plus you've got a hair dryer here and a box of tissues. I just want you to take a gander at this glorious shelving space. All those shelves up there, and then you've got vanity space and more shelves down here. So lots of lots of lots of storage space here in the bath. You've got this big, very well lit mirror, great for doing your makeup or getting ready in the morning when you splash some water on your face. 
We've got a little mirror, which makes you look silly. Where am I? <laughs> Hand towels, nice big sink basin, but only one sink in here. Then you've got your one amenity, which is some facial soap, plus some extra tissues and toilet paper under the sink. If you want, you can close this room off with a sliding door. The same is true for the commode room over here. It also has a sliding door of its own. Both of them do lock. Haha. <laughs> Speaking of the commode room, we have the ever important commode. Lots and lots of towels, plus a nice glass door shower. Now this one does have a tub, plus those refillable Disney toiletries, a ledge for your own toiletries, and a single shower head in this shower, but don't get used to that. Just don't get used to it, okay? Spoiler alert. I did turn it on. It wasn't the best pressure that I've seen at a Disney hotel. Moving on to the kitchen, I just wanna say that this is kind of the jaw dropper for me that really sets this room above the Art of Animation suites for me. Now, the All-Star Music suites are a lot smaller than the Art of Animation suites. They're also cheaper for that reason, but the Art of Animation suites certainly did not have a pretty much full-size fridge or this much kitchen space either. So it's really, I mean, this is a huge, huge, huge plus to have. Tons and tons of shelving space, a nice kitchen sink, complete with a grate if you need to wash your dishes by hand, which you would if you were using reusables. You've got an ice bucket, a coffee machine, ever important with all of your accoutrements, and a microwave, also a huge, huge amenity in a Disney hotel room. Then these drawers have space for, I don't know, what, what do you think goes in there? Silverware maybe? This one has actual packaged silverware in it for your use. And then this one here has some disposable plates and bowls as well as some disposable cups. Are you ready for it? We've got more shelf space as well as a big old empty cabinet for you to put any groceries in or anything like that. I guess you could also store luggage in there if you were getting tight for space elsewhere. And under the sink, there's a lot of space too with some extra paper towel and another trash can. Let's take a peep in this fridge dare, shall we? You have a full freezer with its own control over temperature. There are shelves in the door. And same thing is true for the full fridge. Now I have never seen a fridge this large in any of the Disney hotels that I've toured. It's got even got fresh drawers for your vegetables and fruit and thing like that. So this I think is a huge amenity. If you're staying for a little bit of a long time, the all-star music rooms might be something to look into. Of course, the standard rooms here don't have these, but the family suites sure do. If you are curious about what those standard rooms look like, you can check out my all-star movies tour. They are very, very similar rooms. So you'll get a pretty good idea of what they look like by watching that. Let's head on into the bedroom. So this is of course the master bedroom for the parents or whoever might get to claim it if you're traveling with a bunch of adults. You've got a queen bed in here, this Mickey, Minnie, and Donald pop art, tons of mirrors. Here's one. And then hiding behind the door is another. So many mirrors. That's another full length mirror. This room has the exact same storage unit as the one out in the living room. Got your own remote for the TV in here. Plenty of outlets just like outside. The drawers are sizable just like outside. And then this cabinet has two more pillows for the Murphy beds, plus a programmable safe for your valuables. Now, just like other Disney hotels, rates do vary at the All-Stars. Um, at this particular hotel, the standard rooms will typically run you $120 to $255. Preferred rooms will run you around $155 to around $290. And then family suites are gonna run you around $300 to around $581, depending on the time of year. Now, something to keep in mind though, is that the family suites over at Art of Animation start at around $430. So you're already looking at an upcharge of around $130 for a suite that I don't really think is as nice as this one. Now the caveat to that of course is that there is more space over at Art of Animation and it's better for kids. If you are traveling with a full group of six that fit in one of these rooms and you've got a lot of kiddos with you, Art of Animation might be your choice. This room does sleep six, but it's going to be very, very, very cramped if you have both of those Murphy beds pulled down, if you have six people's worth of stuff in here. Now if you're traveling with a group of five or four, I might say swing the all-star because the amenities are a little bit nicer, even if that space is a little bit smaller. Honestly, I might even consider all-star music family suites a good pick if you're traveling as just two adults 
because you can book this room, have a living area and a table space, never pull those Murphy beds down, have a ton of space for what you would pay for a standard hotel room at a moderate hotel. The bedroom has a chair in it, which I remember the bedroom at Art of Animation did not have any chairs, and this nice tall floor lamp with a little bit of table space. Now, the furnishings in here are a lot newer than the ones over at Art of Animation too. Obviously less themed again, but a lot newer. They look a lot spiffier. There's a luggage rack over here if you need it, as well as another thermostat. So you can have the kids set to the temperature they like and you set to the temperature that you like in your bedroom. TV's of course set to that Disney World channel, but you've got plenty of channels to choose from. Bed in here looks pretty comfy. We'll have to see how it holds up in bed science. And let's check out that under bed space. Pretty good down there, that's pretty good. Side table wise, you've got one that has one little shelf as well as another phone in here if you need it. And then you've got this wider one which almost acts as a vanity. But if you pull up one of those chairs from out in the living room, this could be a great place to do your makeup or do a little bit of work separated from the kids. And bathroom time. The bathroom in here is pretty similar to the other bathroom with one key difference, we'll get there. This has a big sink. There is only one sink in here, but there's plenty of counter space here if you need to keep your makeup or anything out on the counter. You've got more facial soap plus some tissues, a big well-lit mirror as is characteristic at these recently renovated Disney rooms, another one of those mirrors that make me look silly that I enjoy, and some shelving down below the sink. There's a little kind of cubby style closet in here with another hair dryer plus plenty of coat hangers and lots of space. You could throw shoes down there or a bag. More towel hooks, always important. Speaking of towels, we've got towels and another commode room here. Similar to outside, the commode room is shut off by a sliding door. However, there is no door from the bedroom into the sink room of this so if you want privacy in this room, you will need to close off the whole bedroom. And the key difference in this bathroom is that there is a shower. So there are handicap accessible rooms at this resort. This one is not one of them. There is a lift to the shower and of course the other is a tub. But there is a nice standing shower with that fancy drain that confuses me. And this one does actually have a double shower head, which is a really surprising amenity, I think, to see at one of these value resorts. Plenty of space for you to keep your own toiletries with, a, with two ledges in the shower, plus the reusable Disney toiletries if you need them. All right, we've seen the room, we've experienced it. You know what time that means it is, right? <laughs> That's right, you said it, not me, folks. It's time for Bed Science with Quincy. We're gonna start here at the main bed and see how it holds up. Literally, huh. it's pretty comfy. <laughs> I can decide almost immediately. You've got a nice comfy mattress. It feels pretty plush and firm at the same time. It's a nice moderate mattress, which is good because people have different tastes. It's good to be right in the middle. Um, I think I'm gonna get a good sleep here. <sighs> this is this is mathematically the right amount of head sinkage. Um, I just want you guys to know that what resort tours have done to me is that they've they've made me Google what pillows Disney buys and I'm, I'm buying some for my house. To do the rest of bed science though, we need to do some, some redecorating, I think. Time for a redecorating montage. So as you can see, getting that ottoman and those chairs out of the way and bringing those beds down does really limit the space in this room, which is why I say it might feel a little crowded if you do put the full allotted six people in this room, but that certainly won't stop us from doing bed science now, will it? You know the rules though, safety first. So bed science on the Murphy beds is a little bit gentler. Right. this is pretty comfy. I mean, it's the same as all the other Murphy beds. It's literally the same model, but it's definitely better than the sofa beds, which I've learned are not the most comfortable. Um, obviously, I think that the best bed in this room is going to be that actual bed bed that's in the bedroom, but I think you could get a good sleep on this. I think I'd sleep just fine on this, although it is a little firm for my taste. Other bed, gentle bed science. I don't, am I, I feel like this one's slightly less comfortable. I don't know. Whenever there's a couch involved, I just feel like things are less comfortable. If anything, though, it is like only 
1% less comfortable. So I don't think you'll have kids arguing over who gets which bed. Plus, with fun Disney art like this, that's probably what your kids are going to be more interested in. And if you're sharing this room with adults, odds are everyone will be fair. None of the beds are uncomfortable. So I don't know. I could get a good night's sleep on any of these. I'm tired, but I'm also hungry. And the sweet siren call of dinner is calling to me. So let's get up. Still missing it a little bit, but there's a few people out in the pool now. I am going to mobile order on my way to dinner, I think. So you do not have to mobile order. It is encouraged just to reduce touch points, but I'm gonna go ahead and mobile order in the My Disney Experience app. To do this, you just hit the plus button, then hit order food, navigate to the restaurant you want. For us, that's Intermission Food Court, and then go ahead and place your order. And during our short walk to the lobby, let's talk a little bit more about whether or not this resort is right for you. So, of course, at a Disney resort, you get those Disney perks. That's free transportation, free parking at the theme parks, airport transportation for the remainder of 2021, early theme park entry, which starts really soon after I finish filming this video, and a little bump to that advanced dining reservations window. Plus, the Disney dining plan is set to return, although we're not quite sure when yet. Disney hasn't announced it. For the pros of this resort, you've got value, value, value. The all-stars are the cheapest Walt Disney World official resorts. So if you're looking to save while still staying on Disney property at an official Disney hotel, the all-stars are the way to do it. Other pros, you've got the family suites. Now those are an amazing pro, especially now that I've seen just how great they are inside. And this is a good hotel for kids. It's got really fun larger than life theming. It's got really fun pools and You've got a lot of space in those hotel rooms if you have a bit of a larger family. Cons wise, you've got that transportation slash distance to the parks. This hotel is pretty far from the theme parks and you can only take the bus. No Skyline or Monorail or boats for you and that's no fun. There can also be large groups at this resort and it can be loud. Now that has not been the case today since the resort is pretty much deserted, but it certainly can be the case and you need to be aware of that when you're booking. If you're staying in one of the standard rooms here, those rooms are some of the smallest on property and that can certainly be a con. That's why they're great rooms for if you plan on spending most of your time in the theme parks and using the hotel rooms only as a place to sleep and not as somewhere to relax and lounge. Plus, compared to other resorts, the All-Stars just have limited dining and recreation options. The recreation is limited to the offerings that you see on this board here, and then the dining is limited to just one restaurant and one pool bar. So if you're big on having a lot of dining options at your resort, you might want to look at one of the moderates, like Coronado Springs Resort or a deluxe. So All-Star Music might be right for you if you are looking for a larger room on a budget. If you are traveling as a couple or as a family of four and you want a larger room instead of having a little bit nicer room and a moderate could be right for you. It can also be right for you just if you're looking for value in general. The All-Stars are a great way to get to stay on Disney property without breaking the bank. But there are some cons. You do need to be aware of them. And you might still have a great stay. So Intermission Food Court is a pretty standard food court like you see at the other value resorts. Now this is the first one that has reopened on the normal model again. They have been big encouraging mobile order including with a little bit of a stand in the middle of the room and now you can actually go to the stations once more. So this is a pretty big step back towards normal. It used to be that all of these stations would be blocked off at any other value that's reopened, so it's interesting. Menu-wise, you've got a lot of standard favorites like chicken and burgers and things like that, but you've also got some specialty meals like a roasted salmon dinner or a pot roast. I think we're gonna go for the pimento bacon cheeseburger, which is not at the other uh, all-star food court that I visited, so I'm super excited to try that. I love pimento cheese. A cast member did let me know that the mobile orders have been sort of scrambling here and going to the other food court at All Star Movies. So she just went to sort that out and make sure mine came here, but it doesn't seem like it's too big of an issue. You can also visit Singing Spirits from inside if you're looking for a drink. Now the All Star dining isn't something to write home about. However, occasionally you might find a special sweet. Right now they do just have that classic Mickey cookies and cream cupcake but we've seen all sorts of fancy cupcakes at the all-star resorts. So when you're staying at one, go ahead and check out that cupcake display. And if you really love cupcakes, keep an eye on DFB to see if you need to make a trip over to an all-star to grab one. So if you mobile order, you do what I did and everything comes in and is paid for when you get here and you can just pick it up when it's ready. If you don't mobile order, you go ahead and order from whatever station you're interested in, whether that's pizza and pasta, burgers, or the specialty station or the bakery station. Listen, I don't judge. You want cookies for dinner? I respect it. 
and then you head on over to the cash register and check out just like you normally would. The fun thing about this food court is they have added art from the new Mickey cartoons with the new Mickey art that you see on Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. There's also a grab and go section, very important. If you need some fruit or a drink or some chips. If you had an immobile order pickup though, you'll hurry past the beverages bar and to the pizza pickup. It has mobile order pickup. Big bonus also near the utensils, you've got microwave and toasters and things like that if you need the toaster bagel that you just bought. As is typically the case at the food courts, there is a large dining area here with a few outdoor tables as well. Like I said, there's all that cute art from the Mickey cartoons, which I absolutely love. And I think I spot a TV back there. If you like to watch something while you eat. Yep, there sure is a TV back there. Just like the rest of the resort though. Not a lot of people in here and it is prime dinner time. Like I mentioned, I got the pimento bacon cheeseburger because that sounds amazing and I can't get it at the other All-Stars. This is a cheeseburger with uh, pimento cheese, bacon, regular cheese, lettuce. It's official. Instant way to level up a Disney World food court burger is to put pimento cheese on it. So good. Like, this isn't, you know, go out of your way, get on a bus, and have a burger at All-Star Music Good, but this is a, if you're saying All-Star Music, and you like pimento cheese, order this burger if you come to the food court. It's so good. It's a little bit dry. Um, I definitely am gonna add some ketchup to it, but let's try out the fries. Warm and crispy and heavily salted. <laughs> so, can you really go wrong? I mean, no, there are no McDonald's fries, but I don't know, I'm impressed. I've actually, I'm usually pleasantly surprised by the food courts, not because they're especially good, but because I do have lower expectations for them. I enjoyed my chicken parm when I last stayed at a value, and this is pretty tasty as well, so. It's a beautiful evening here at All Star Music, so I think that I'm gonna head back to my room and see if I can't find some cheesy game shows to watch. Those are my favorite. All right, I'm back at Shea Quincy for the night. I'm excited to continue bed science and see if I do actually get a good night's sleep on the bed in the bedroom, so we'll see. And I'm really excited to head to Epcot tomorrow and check out the transportation times for a resort that's a little closer to Magic Kingdom. So I hope you're excited for that. I certainly am, but first, I gotta do eight solid hours of bed science. So I'll see you in eight hours, which for you will be only a second because movie magic. Good morning. It's a brand new day here at All Star Music Resort and we have stuff to do. We are going to check out transportation this morning. Last time I stayed in All Star, we took the bus to Magic Kingdom. Found out how long that would take. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of a later start and check out Epcot. So I'll also, of course, let you know how the bed was with the completion of bed science and let's get going. I did sleep pretty well. Those beds are pretty comfy. I feel like they're mostly the same as other beds, but I don't know. I slept obviously in the main bed and not on one of the Murphys, but I slept well. I didn't wake up at all. Now, do you know the pool sound is going to be pretty prominent at these preferred buildings? Checkout is at 11 a.m. There is a late checkout of 12 p.m. available on request, but it is not guaranteed. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, the only method of transportation from All Star Music is the buses, just like the two other All Star resorts. So, headed to Epcot today, we will be taking the bus and we're going to see just how long it takes. Something to keep in mind is that the bus system from the All-Star Resorts can be a little bit frustrating since these resorts have so many people, literally like over a thousand people at each resort. The lines can get really, really long at the All-Star bus stops. Now, today that's not really the case just because it is reopening day and it tends to be a little slower on day one in the middle of the week, but it certainly can get to be long, long lines. Even on my reopening day All-Star movies, there was a long section of lines. As we've seen since these resorts have reopened, the waits have been a lot more manageable at the All-Stars than I remember them being prior to the park closures. Now, will they probably ramp back up? Yes. Is there a chance that your bus might stop at a, more than one All-Star resort? Absolutely, and that can be frustrating. I actually think that might happen to us this morning, so we'll see. walking up to the gate 13 minutes later. That was a much faster drive than it was from, uh, or than it was to Magic Kingdom last time I stayed at an All-Star. Epcot's a little bit closer, so that makes sense. But um, pretty easy drive, the bus didn't fill up, and we didn't stop at All-Star um, movies, even though our bus wasn't full. So no double stop today, but keep in mind that that double stop can happen. You might get stuck 
stopping in multiple all-stars especially if you're traveling at off travel times like the middle of the day and things like that but I'm gonna continue my stroll to Epcot see you momentarily and as a bonus we made it pre-rope drop so it's pretty slow here today and I made it to Epcot just a quick 13 minute bus ride and I'm here so time to have some fun so again, Epcot typically doesn't open until later to than the other parks, so it can be a good day to grab breakfast at your hotel if that's something you've got your eye on. And I've definitely had breakfast at those food courts before. If you've had Mickey Waffles before, you've probably had the best thing they have there. And Epcot has food and wine going on right now, so I would recommend skipping a full meal in the morning and getting started on those booths right when you get here if the festival is something you're interested in doing. All right, that just about does it for my tour here at Disney's All-Star Music Resort. I hope you had a really great time. I sure did. I loved that room. What a surprise. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and tell us in the comments where you'd like to see me go next. You can follow us on social media at All Ears Net. And until next time, I'm Quincy and I'll see you real soon. Bye! Want more All Ears videos? Click here. And want to subscribe? You can do that right here. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you real soon.